back. Uh, what is it that the Japanese always say when they came back? Padaima. <laughs> That's the one. Is that what, is that what <laughs> they use in like this as well, though? <laughs> I don't know. About I think it. so. Like I, I came back in. I'm, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, do you happen to recognize this kanji? Hi, it's key. Yep, tree. tree. And do you remember this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yoko. Hi, yoko horizontal. Perfect. Yoko um, horizontal, can you yes. read the sentence for me? That kanji look awfully a lot like the kanji for yellow. Mm, it does. Isn't it? Kiro. Yes, it is. It just had that other bit of a key, key hen in front of it. Yep. So yellow, and then it's tree yellow is sideways. I guess when the leaves Hi. of the tree turn yellow, the tree dies and it falls down. Sideway. <laughs> okay, back to the sentence. Um, shokudo no ki no kabe ni. So towards the wall of the tree of the dining hall. Hi. Nani so in this atta, case, there was something. I wonder if it's pronounced as moku in this context. I didn't think they'll check that. Uh, this is wood. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a wooden wall. <laughs> it's a wooden wall. Not a tree. You know, it, it's probably not a wall with a moku tree. The tree doesn't have <laughs> tree doesn't have walls. Tree, what am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> it's a wooden wall. I agree. The wooden wall of the shokudo. There is something there. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, do you happen to know what this is pronounced as? Oh. I've seen it before, but now I forgot. This is yuka. yuka. You know what yuka means? I thought that was like a tatami. Like mm. the tatami had this character in it. It probably it? does. This means floor. You got. Yes, you got. Um, could you read this word for me? Hi, yokuta waru. Hi. To something sideways. So, so, that is exactly what it means. Uh, it means to be lying down. To be lying down. Hi. Yokotawaru. Yokotawaru. Hi. And it is an u verb, not a u verb. Um, can you read this for me? Yeah, I'm guessing this is moku no. Yeah, I would guess that y too. Yuki. Yuka. What was it? Or, yuka. Yuka. Moku no yuka ni yume shi o oi. This is oku, right? This is oita. Uh, oita, hi. To place, or place in the past tense, place uh, the yumeshi, the, the dinner portion, the, the dinner, onto the yuka no moku, the wooden floor. To put, hi. to place the dinner on the floor, so. on the wooden floor. What is the term form of yoko tawaru? Yoko tawaru. We say that this is a ru verb. Ichidan. So just drop ru. Yoko tawate. Yoko tawate. Hi. A little gloss up. Te. Um, do you know what this word is? How you pronounce this? Wait, wait, Monique. Was that ichidan or godan? I'm so sorry. Is that an u verb or a ru verb? It is an u verb. So this would be glottal u. stop, t, and then te. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I got it wrong. I thought it was a ru verb. Oh. This was u. <laughs> Hi. Te. So what's this word? Ki ga tsuku. Hi. To ki attach ki. So Meaning what do you to, think that means? To to become aware. Hi, to become aware. Perfect. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Yuka ni dobro ga yukotawata. To lie down. The thief lie down on the yuka. 
the floor. Perfect. Okay. What does Tachi do for us? Sorry, Tara, Tachi. Rokuname ni awanai to yoku kiku. What is Tara doing? Tara. Tara is not Nagara. Hi. It's something else. We are talking about the case. If something happened, something else happened. Hi. When something happened, another thing happened. Hi. But not at all. Not in the sense of strong connections. So it's just a casual. Mado jutsushi ni namai o oshietara. When you tell me your name, or when when the name is told to the magician, Hi. this is a passive form. Rokuna, uh, this is the character for I, so Rokuna meni awanai. Rokuna is an adverb of some sort mm. describing the eye towards the eye. Awa nai awa. So, awari. me ni au means to have some kind of situation happen to you. And this is going to be modified with something over here. Normally, it's going to be something like hidoi, which is horrible. So, hidoi me ni au means to have a horrible time. Ryoku. Rokuna is something nice. So this is to not have a nice time. Roku so this is saying no, it's nice. if you tell a magician your name, then you will not have a nice time. So I've heard that a lot. Understood. Hi. So, hey. yoku kiku. So, so. I often habitually yep. hear such thing. You know what shibarakushite means? Shibara, shibara, shibarakushite is okay. This is a ku. It's mm. a verb of some sort here, oh. and then shite just just maybe like verbify it even more. Mm. Wait Hi. a minute. Why does it need the shite if it's already a verb? Shibaraku it, it must is be something kind of more like an adverb. I'd say it's an adverb. And it's being and it's and it's kind of being turned into a verb with the sudo. Beraku sudo. Yes. Um, shibaraku shite means after a while. Shibaraku shite after a while. After a while, after some amount of of uh, time passed. Shibaraku shite. What is the top form of kizuku? Here we have the ku. Perfect. So while we're doing that, I had Googled what's uh, the key no you guys. It is still key. It's not pronounced as moku. But it, it does mean wood. I just I wasn't sure. But now now we know it, it is key. Wood. It is key. So this is still pronounced as key, so. even though it's meaning wood and not tree. But yeah, let's go read the sentence. Hi. Shibaraku shite. Aki ga suitara. May I have a question here? Hi. So we see here that the shibaraku shite is modifying or describing the key. Hi. Iga. So why is it that sometimes they use the ta form to describe? The subject, and then other time they use the te form. So in this case, it uses shibaraku shite, shite instead of shibaraku shita ki. Um, so what's going on here is the normal te form meaning and. So this isn't really describing the ki going on here. It just means after some amount of time has passed. So time has passed, yes. and once time has passed. Or so, so time has passed that allowed me to kiga tsuku. So I if see. this was ta, so that'd be directly modifying the key, which would be after some key has passed, which isn't really what this is saying. The key hasn't I passed. See. The key has tuku. Okay, so 
this is not a kanji check. This is more of a grammar check for me. So to emphasize this point is that I misunderstood it the first time. The te form does not modify the subject. So therefore, this mm. is not a relative clause. This yes. is simply saying shibaraku shite. This is a te uh, clause. Some time has passed. And Hai. ti ga suitara. Um, when I notice or Hi. Right. When I was like awake. When I became aware. Hi. When I was awake. Um, and then you say here we I have, was yoko tawareru. Yoko tawareru. Um, this yoko tawarete that mean I lie down on the uh, uh, koku. Just learn it. Um, the the mat is um, ku. Kuna, no, Kusa, um, Yuga, 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 on the wooden Yuga of the Shokudo, Hai. the wooden floor of the dining hall, I've, I've lied down uh, when I became aware. Yes. So oh, when, let's look oh at the so pencil. he lost. Some time has passed by. He has lost consciousness Hai, Hai, during Hai. that time so, and when he became aware when he woke up he noticed that he was lying on the fl wooden floor of the yep. of the dining place exactly that's what it's saying he was lying down so there's our was and then lying down perfect nice now it's a kanji check do, 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 do. this word hi <clears throat> U ga, um, no, kaze ga. Hi, hi. How about this guy? Kuni. Hi, and this guy? Um, yoku. yoku. Hi, yoko. Yoku. Yoku. No, yoko. Yoko tawarete. Hi, hi. And uh, these two? Yuka. The hi. kino yuka. Hi, kino yuka. Perfect. Shizuka. So yuriru is a word we've kind of seen before, but do you know what it means? Yuriru it had the te for the hand. Uh, yuriru sound like an intransitive verb of some sort. Um, hold on, it's burning. That's a good guess, but yuriru is to um sway. And a lot of things, things that sway would be like a flame on the end of a kettle, candlestick. And it does a... You to sway. <laughs> to sway. sway. You so it's any kind of swaying, kind of back and forth, kind of moving. So fire, you Because it does that little wave formation, especially if we've ever done like animation or something. <laughs> like wiggly wigglies. You do. You do. It's a shake. To shake. Okay, let's go read the, the sentence. The, uh, yeah. Can I on this point? The other time you mentioned the the to to shake character was the other one. The Hi. different kinds of like, shaking. I, I, furu -eru is like, to tremble. Shake. Like waving, waving, waving is your furu. hand. The one you taught me. Yeah, to wave your hand. Furu. Yeah, that's furu. that's waving your hand. It's furu. Furu -eru is to tremble. And yureru is like to sway. Yureru. So furu yureru. Nice. Sway. So if you, you could sway your waving. hand, I guess, but that's not really waving. That that would look kind of weird. You're doing like a snake with your hand for some reason. Right. Like a comedy show of some sort. So, okay. So yureru. So danro de he got yureru. The flame in the, or not in, but more like at the right. fireplace, it's swaying, it's yureru. Perfect. And this word right here looks a lot like flame, uh, the he, but do you know how to recognize this one? You've mentioned it before. Yes, true flame character is uh, ho, ho yep. no. So it's just ho, it is... it's, it's ho no. Ho. Ho no. Oops. Ho no. Hi. 
So homo is flame or blaze. So this is like a more grand than fire, which is he. Which is just fire versus Hi. flame. Um, but sometimes it can be interchangeable, like in the next sentence. Can you read it for me? Hono. Danro de hono ga yureru. Hi. The um, not just a flame, but more like a um, flame. Okay. A bigger one. Hi. Uh, at the fireplace, it's yureru is swaying. Cool. I know there's a word in English to regard to refer to a large flame. I know there is. I just can't remember. It I right think now. flame is fine because fire is the other one. He he is fire and hono is like flame. It just uh, it, see, it, okay. it's just it's just a slightly more dramatic. Uh, and it's not necessarily bigger in this specific context. <laughs> but if if you were talking I, about a big flame, you probably would be using hono rather than he. But the author is using this most likely because they already use he and they want to use a new word so you don't have too many of the same words in the same couple <laughs> paragraphs uh, as as someone who writes sometimes that that's what you do when you write stories right you can't use the same word 20 times um do you recognize how this is read sometimes it'll be wa but in here it's ending with edu um this is not like the end of something. It is the end. Oh, uh, the end? Okay. Hi, hi. So it's oware, oware, o, so owaru, owaru is oh. a word, and oeru is also a word. Oeru. So, hi. Oeru. oeru. To, to, to come to an end is a passive. Most so. likely. Oeru, oeru. Um, do you know what the mass ended, form no. of yureru is? The mass form is yureru. This is an eru. So, is it a ru verb? Hi. It's a ru verb. You know, not every eru sound is a ru verb, right? Probably not. There's it's, always random exceptions to everything. <laughs> That's just what language so is. So you, yure masu. Yure masu. Yure masu. Perfect. Okay. Can you read this word for me? Tabe oeru. Hi. Tabe oeru. Finish this iru. means exactly. And this is a do verb. Tabe oeru. Okay. Do you know what tokoro datta means? Kedo, majutsushi no mado seki o nusunda toki wa ayaku ore jishin made enye ni keshima o tokoro datta. Tokoro datta, becoming like that. Tokoro datta, yes. come, come to the point of, on yes. the verge of. Exactly, it's basically right before the, the completion of the verb. It was. It's a time right, right before yeah. the verb is happens. Um, can you yes. read this for me? Um, I I like to think of that. The word pen ultimate came up in my mind, like the thing right before the end. Hi. <laughs> um, majutsu shi wa yume shi o tabe o eta. The magician finished his dinner. So. Oh, the da dinner. So, so, so. Okay. A dinner. A dinner. Dinner. Probably his dinner. That's how we would say it in English. Um, Let's read the sentence then. Dan ro de wa. Like this, there's an emphasis here. In the fireplace. Yep. Yeah, they're being very dramatic uh, there. Ho, ho no ga yure. The flame waver. Uh, nubri wa table de. Uh, nubri was at the table. A pie o tabe o oeru to oeru to kuro datta. On the verge of finishing his. um, On the verge of finish eating his pie. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. 
I like Ebony. Yeah, he's, he's so just chill. like, he's like, yeah, me pie. <laughs> like this pie is mine. <laughs> um, do you happen to know what mm-hmm. motare kakaru means? Motare kakaru. I know what kakaru mean. I know kakaru motare, just goes no. on top of everything. This means to lean on something. <laughs> motare kakaru. Motare kakaru. Right. So the thing you the lean all on. All encompassing. So the all encompassing kakaru. Um, <laughs> so the thing you lean on gets ni. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Ore wa kabe ni. Motare kakata. Lean on the wall. Perfect. I lean on the wall. Yes, I lean against. I was le- I had leaned against the wall. Do you know what oh, nugu uh, means? Nugu, nu, 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 nugu. It's an action of the hand. Hmm. That's all that I know. That is not incorrect. Right, that is a hand. This means <laughs> to wipe. Hi. Nugu Hai. to wipe. Wipe. Hi. For example, can you read the sentence for me? Majutsu shi wa kao o nugutta. The magician wiped his face. Exactly. Perfect. Do you happen to recognize this kanji? The kanji for north and then mm. the kanji for musuki. It's say the back. It is say. I don't know how that brought you to say getting the north and the moon in here, but <laughs> we did it. Um, we had we had this vocab done already in a Probably. few lessons ago. It's definitely possible. Um, I just decided you didn't know it good enough. Do you know what isu is? I, isu, a chair. Perfect. So let's go read this line. Hai. Isu no se ni motare ga motare kakata. Hai. I I know this you say motare was to oh it's to lean on so it would still be leaning on. Uh-huh. He lean on the chair. Now we don't know oh. where the chair he's leaning on, but he's leaning on it. Where on the chair? Oh, the back of the chair. Hi, Say hi, no. Hi. Yep. <laughs> the back of the lean chair. Lean on the back of the chair. The chair's fine. Hi. Exactly. Hi, hi. Perfect. Hi. Um, next is the word temoto. I I was like, so a lot yeah. of times, so sorry, it's not temoto, it's um kuchimoto. 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 Hi. So moto. Moto does mean the word origin. And sometimes though it is used in context to mean basically around. Like if you're translating it into English. So literally it is the origin of the mouth, but it means around the mouth. So if you said temoto, that means around your hand, close by. And you see ashimoto kind of means below your foot, somewhere next to your feet. So it's a, it's it's one of those ways to kind of say near the blank. So kuchimoto. We we just had the another word for a surrounding area. So, so. Atatari. What atari. was it? Money? Yeah. Atari, atari. means area. Yep. Around yes, but this is more of around the person, around the event. This is around the thing right in front of it. Right. This and this is also like one noun with atari. You'd have to put no between them, like kuchi no atari. Uh, which does sound right. a little weird. Um, but atari. that that's how you would have to do that. Probably sui would be right. better in that context. Um, so could this refer to the lips? Yes. Does this mean the the lips, yeah. or does it mean like just some? Non. I'd say this this generic, determinant. This 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 area. So it's about the lips, probably Hi. a little bit under, a little bit above this this generic area. Would be the Hi. There is a special. There is an actual word for lips, right? Hi, that'd be kuchibiru. Kuchibiru. Okay, got it. it even has its own kanji. Hi. So yeah, let's go read this line from our book. Hi, Shuchin wa Uchimoto ni Nugutteru. So Nugutte is 
No, but that we just learned it is the te, it's the wiping, it's the wiping. Wipe the area of the mouth. Hi, and there's actually ing the right there. The owner. Hi. Yes, the owner wiping the mouth. Yeah, but wiping around mouth. his mouth. His mouth. Hi, and here is our last line of the day. Got to start with some katakana practice. Hi. Napkin de with the napkin. Hi. Kuchimoto o nugutta. Wipe the mouth. Hi. The area of the mouth. Nebri wa. The subject. Uh, like, uh, nebri is. Um, he, this sentence is basically like Yoda form. You describe what happened and then you finally say who did it. So, um, and then Isu no... That is default in Japanese though. Relative clauses are just behind the noun they modify. So this is actually very normal in English to be nobody that was blah, 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 blah would be the same thing in English. But in Japanese, by default, that goes behind. Hi, hi, hi. There's the ta. The ta, the nu, nugutta, hi. is to modify the following so, um, subject. Yep, short Okay, form. I missed that. And then, isu no se ni motare kakatte, leaning on the back of the chair, hi. ore o mioro, mioro shita. Hi. And if orosu was to have a to kanji, me, it would look like that. Look down on me. So, and so. he looked down at me. Because he's remember, ore is on the floor. <laughs> yeah, he was he was yuka yuka he was yuka um nagare something no not nagare he was lying is uh, uh yuko tatawaru tatawateru yuko tatawateru tatawate yeah tatawateru oh, man <laughs> so many words so many words hi. So yeah, many, perfect. So, so, so you see right here this. we have te, which is the and in a so like way. He was leaning in his chair so that he could look down at me. Oh, and in the so kind of way. Yeah. Huh. That's that's why it's te form versus stem form. So if it could be kaka, um, kakari, kakari? for example, kakari. and that would still be grammatically correct. It just that would be very much and. So te just, just adds a small amount of so to it. It's not aggressively so. So sometimes the relationship between the I two see. actions are minimal and you can easily swap between the two. So you can easily have stem form here. So that's why the difference doesn't matter Hi. that much versus um like to, for example, which is very has a distinct meaning that is different than um these two. But te just has a slight so meaning with it. Just just like a tinge. Okay, that makes that is nice. That's okay. that's good to know. Yeah. You'll, no, that was a perfect. We're ending on a paragraph. <laughs> hey. Um. Any questions before we go? No questions. Nice. Then I'll be seeing you in two.